So over here, you can see that I have a bunch of data. And let's say what I want to do is generate out labels so that it can be printed out and then uh, it can be pasted somewhere. So to do that, you can go around and use the label generation option. So for that, I'm going to go around on to the create option right here. And here you can see labels as an option. So once I click on labels, you can see that there are many different label uh, formats that you can choose from. So you can go around and choose uh, the label by manufacturer right here. So let's say, for example, if you were to go around and choose, let's say, for example, Nana right here, you can see that there are many product label and the label size right here, as you can see. So I'm just going to go around and choose a random one right here and press next. And you can see how the label would look like right here. So I'm going to go around with, uh, let's say, 16 size of uh, font right here. And I want, I want to use Arial Black, let's say and the text color will be black itself. You can also italicize and underline this out if you want to. I'm just going to go around and press next. And now you can enter out uh, what data you want right here. So let's say what I want is I want the expertise right here. So I'm going to add in the expertise just like this. I can add in a space over here as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and add in uh, let's say, for example, skill right here, just like this. And I'm going to go around, press enter. So it goes to the next line right here. And over here, I'm going to add in the price. So these are the prototype labels right here, which are going to be there on the labels that I'm going to generate. And then I'm going to press next right here. So over here, I'm going to arrange this uh, by ID. So I'm going to uh, choose short by ID right here. And then I'm going to hit next right here. So now I'm just going to leave the name as it is right here and press OK, just like this and finish it out. And you can see the label right here. So you can see that there's Access Basic, Word Basic, Publisher Basic, Presentation Advanced, and you can see the price over here as well. So you can see the label uh, just like this. And if you want to edit out the label, you can close the print preview right here and it comes to the design view just like this. So let me just go around right here, push this out. So over here, I'm in the design view. So you can go around and then resize this out according to how you like. And over here, what you can also do is resize this out over here as well. So what I also want to add in over here is a text known as price. So I'm just going to go around over here and type in price just like this. And this is what you have. So just gonna go around and drag it out right over here and uh, keep price over there. So just going to go around and keep price right here. So just going to go around right here, select this out and drag this out onto the center as well. You can add in other elements as you wish as well. So let's say, for example, you want to go around into the design section. Let's say I want to add in a line over here. So I'm just going to go around and then add in a line just like this. So there you go. There's a line and I'm going to go around and drag in another line over here as well. So this is going to go around. There's another line over here. So this is how the label is going to look like. So if I were to go around onto the report view now, you can see the label right here. So you can see that this is how it looks. So over here, I'm going to go to print preview and now the label would be printed out like this. And uh, you can see that all of the data are there. And if you were to print out the label now, what will happen is that now you can print this out in the certain size. And what happens is that you can cut it out and paste the labels according to how you like it. So that is how you can create labels inside of Microsoft Access. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.